Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to play Counter-Strike on Android. Now, Counter-Strike is one of the most successful first-person shooters of all time. It initially started as a third-party Half-Life mod, but then it got so popular that Valve had to hire its developers and buy the intellectual property to make it an official standalone release. But after all these years, it's still not available for Android or at least it wasn't until now. That's because developer Olivek Omarov single-handedly stepped in and ported Counter-Strike to Android, which is an absolutely amazing feat. But before you get too excited, there are a few requirements here. First, you will need to own a legit copy of Counter-Strike, and the only version that's fully supported here is the one you can buy off Steam. So that means you'll also need to have Steam installed on your computer, and because of the file formats involved here, it'll need to be the Windows version. Then, as far as the Android part of this goes, it's actually fairly simple. You'll just need to have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under security, and then you'll need any Android file browser app. But to get started, there's a pair of Android apps that you'll need to download. So for this part, just head to step 1 in my tutorial, then visit both of the download links from your phone or tablet. The first one's pretty simple. It's basically the rendering engine for the game. So just scroll to the download section for Xash, then grab the latest APK. But then the second app is the one that actually launches Counter-Strike, and there's a minor complication here. So before you download the CS16 client APK, you'll need to know whether you have a single core or multi-core processor. I have a guide for that linked out at the full tutorial, so check that out if you're not sure. But basically, if you have a single core device, go with the OMP version, which is the second link. Or if you have a multi-core device like I do, grab the no OMP version. Then, once you've got both APKs downloaded, go ahead and launch them one by one, then press install when prompted. After you're done installing both apps, you'll need to grab some files from your PC, so let's head over there. Now on your PC, you'll need to head to your Steam installation folder. For most users, that'll be C, Program Files x86, Steam. From here, open the Steam Apps folder, then head to the Common folder inside of that, and finally, open the Half-Life folder. Now once you've made it this far, there's two folders you'll need to copy over to your phone's internal storage. So select the C-Strike and Valve folders, then right-click and copy. From here, just connect your phone to your PC with a USB data cable, then paste these two folders anywhere you'd like. The total size of these folders is something like 400 megabytes, so it's going to take a little while, and you'll need to make sure you have at least that much free space on your Android device. But if you run into problems with Android's NTP connection or other driver issues, my best suggestion would be to upload these folders to a cloud storage service, then download them on your Android device. Aside from that, there's just a little more work you'll need to do to wrap things up on the Android side of things, so let's head back over there. Back on your phone, go ahead and open your favorite file browser app. From here, the first thing you'll need to do is head to your device's main internal storage, then create a new folder. Next, name this folder xash or xash and make sure that's all one word in all lowercase letters. After you've taken care of that, use your file browser to find those C-Strike and Val folders you copied over, then select them both and press cut. Next, just head to the xash folder you created, then paste both of those folders right in here. When all that stuff is done, you're ready to play some Counter-Strike. So open the CS16 client app that you installed back at the beginning. Then leave all this stuff set exactly how it is already and press the launch button at the bottom of the screen. And there you have it, Counter-Strike running on Android. Believe it or not, everything works amazingly well, and that includes multiplayer. But the servers they're using for internet games have been a little hit or miss for me, so that's something to be aware of. Aside from that, land-based games work almost flawlessly, so playing against your friends over local Wi-Fi will be an awesome experience. It's got the full suite of controls, so no problems there, but you may want to look into a Bluetooth controller if you're not a fan of touchscreen controls, though I haven't tried that myself. Really, I'm amazed that one person was able to do all of this, so big thanks to the developer for making this all possible. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com, and as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!